Hello, welcome back. Last time I explored Redwash and um, met its residents and got to know them a little bit. Unfortunately, Mr. Pinstripe has completed his adoption ceremony with Bo, and she's now a creepy shadow person. However, I have the means to uh, turn back time. So Happy asked me to collect ten sacks for him. I have six. I'm wondering what happens if I shoot these robots that are sucking on people's heads. Or vice versa? Nothing. I cannot shoot those. Okay. I realized I hadn't tried that before. <laughs> I break those every time I go by. So I just need to find four more of these. That's one. Still collecting frozen drops, so I probably will have another opportunity to spend those. I got an achievement called Demon Slayer. I guess for killing a bunch of those. So all the stuff that's going on here kind of feels like it's trying to imply that I'm close to the end of the story, but that can't be because there's so much unresolved stuff. All right, no robots here. Not least of which being the, um, all of the uh, things that I can still buy from Happy, maybe. Except this was a one-way trip. And there was no way to get that much money when I was there before. Hmm. There's that rifle on the wall. I just need to find one more... Uh, wait, what's going on here? That. One more dude with a sack. That doesn't do me any good. And I'll have enough for happy. So it's 2.30am right now. Because that's when the sack delivery happens. It's also right after the ceremony. Wait, I can go in here? Oh yeah, that's... Oh hey, there's the thing. Well, there's all the sacks. Why do I need to bother with the ones the robots are holding? Whoops. Shoot. Let's try that again. There we go. Ten sacks. Can't take any of those, I guess. That's fine. Alright, let's go make happy happy. <laughs> that still amuses me greatly. <laughs> I could change the time. Don't really need to right now. So, Mr. Happy. Hello, Hello Happy. Can I buy a newspaper for ten sacks? Yes, I am. It'll show you the clue to get up into Pinstripe's parsonage. Sounds good. Thank you. It's getting night. I expect I'll be closing shop and eating a sack if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Sleeping nice and cozy in my shop through this storm. This madness. What did you do, father? Anyways, the password should be in that newspaper. Neat. <laughs> Good night, father. Have a good sleep. Whoa. Uh-huh. Red wash times. Red wasn't times. Saturday, October 13. Fire, fire. A devastating car wreck at the Red Wash Parsonage takes the life of minister and daughter. Uh-huh. You can't even stop a car. I see. Read more in reverse. Uh. Okay, so this newspaper folds that way. Hmm. Fire, fire. 1922. Minister's body was found at Redwash Parsonage, along with the three-year-old... She's only three? Three-year-old's charred remains in the passenger seat. Authorities have not released information into the cause of the wreck. Advertisements. Edward Pawn. Friendly faces and cheap prices. Redwash Baptist. Services in Satin Sun. Wash away your woes at Redwash Pub, dancing and wild times. Get rowdy and say howdy to drinks, drunks, and punks. 1922, that must be the one. Okay, got it. Right, uh, year of death. Mm-hmm, cool. Now, it feels like what I really should do is change the clock before I go anywhere else. 
because like I want to rescue Bo before she's adopted. <laughs> I don't want weird shadow Bo. So, um, oh no, this is on fire. Well, shoot, that's a problem. Okay, well, never mind. I guess I'm not allowed to do that. Huh. Hmm. Guess I'm rescuing Beard Shadow Bow. <laughs> All right, nineteen Oh, hi, little robot. What's up with you? Do you want to play train Wait, no, train? that's Bo. <laughs> uh, sure. You can be the driver. Come on, Bo. The dizzy, dizzy driver. Is your poor little baby upstairs? Burning and dying. This is weird. Okay, so Bo, having some issues. Sad, cold portraits. Mirror. So only... What if I break the mirror? That's not it. Oh, yes it is! And I can say the same to you. Time to burn, sweaty boy. <laughs> Are we gonna fight now? Looks like it. Can I break your shield with enough of these? Uh, maybe? Or do you go vulnerable after that? Yeah. Got it. You'll just fill the room with bombs, so I might as well take care of you while I can. I have not yet felt challenged in the combat in this game. All right, one more cycle should do it. Oh wait, I shouldn't stand there. Uh, all right, I did take a bunch of damage there. But I'm okay. Oh, I got a bottle. A whiskey bottle. Pinstripe. Pure rye whiskey. Okay. Bottled in Red Wash, England. Okay, and that's the final clue, so that's everything. All right, sure, that sounds like a good idea. So Bo disappeared. Oh, that's the pet carrier for George, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mirror, where do you go? A whole new dimension. What's this? Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, George, could you stand on this, maybe? Ted. 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 Go find Bo. Okay. Thanks, George. I appreciate it. I'll come back for you, maybe. 
Okay, now I'm in this place. Mr. Dickie and Miss Birdie. Daddy! Hey, I found her! Bo! I missed you. <laughs> Spoon and fork in the clock. I missed you too. Can I play outside? Yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, game by Thomas Brush. I got an achievement called Nice Guy. That probably means... That's probably because I was polite more often than not. What does that say? I have no idea. S Silni Mevan. Bi Bil... Bil... Nig is I can't read that at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was the ending. An ending. Okay. Daddy! Yep. That looks like Mommy's butterfly net. Oh, like the butterfly that's following me. Aha, uh -huh, now I have two. Cool. Well, this is a nice place. Wow! Look, Dad! All the stuff we saw in the paintings. Wish Mama's here to see this. She loved butterflies. Hey! Bet you can't catch all of them. Now bet I can! Okay, done. Master Producers. People. Cool. Hey, George! Hey. Cool. Are there more butterflies over here? Oh, hey! Mommy? Okay, great. I got two more achievements. One's called Speed Demon, one's called Pinstripe God. So was I... did I finish that fast then? Right, credits. Cool. I expected this to be a bit short. That was a little shorter than I expected, but it sure did a lot with uh, <laughs> with what it had. Like the uh, everything was incredibly dense. Like there was really, really a lot packed into the uh, the time that was there. Wow. What a fascinating and very unique game. Like, there's nothing quite like... So, <laughs> when I started, I had the expectation this would be a little bit like The Way. It was... Uh, in some ways it was, but in a lot of ways it was not. Voice actors! Felix is Felix. Dan is Daniel. Kevin is Kevon. Prinzel, right, I forgot about him. <laughs> More Kickstarter credits. These could get a little bit long. Oh, I'm probably in here somewhere. I'm gonna look for my name. I guess I was not a priest. So things I'm left wondering about. Uh, what to do with extra frozen drops. How to possibly collect enough for the puppy sweater, the tommy gun, the, um... Oh, yeah, and there were those, um, elders. Am I an elder? Uh, I don't see my name here, so I guess not. I don't, I have no memory of what the tiers were, or which one I was. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, so things I'm left wondering about. Um... Happy sold lots of other things. The puppy sweater, the pinstripe suit, the tommy gun. There was that rifle locked to the wall. There were a couple of other doors with, like, golden padlocks on them. Clearly there's a bunch more here. Maybe some of that comes into play if I take the rude person route. But maybe. I was rude twice total in this whole thing, I think. 
Once to Pinstripe, once to the guy in the bar. That's what I remember. So I'm starting to wonder if it's worth another playthrough with the all the rude options. Well, let's wait and see what happens at the end of the credits first, I guess. Very first pre-orders. <laughs> Russian person's name can't be alphabetized like the rest. So there's a real Georgie. <laughs> well, you did what you wanted. Nineteen twenty two. That's the year. Okay, I see. There's more credits on the on the website, so I was probably in a lower backer tier that was not listed in the actual game credits. That's fine. Those can sometimes take forever in games that include them. I remember Abduction's credit sequence was like an hour long or something. <laughs> Yeah, so I have to see what that does. Definitely. With the golden key. Adventure Plus. So every time I came back to this uh, start screen... Oh, also I looked in here... Yeah, okay, so Super Vintage Mode. Puppy Sweater. Pinstripe Suit. I have no idea what Super Vintage Mode means. Uh, I know what the other two mean, but I wasn't able to buy them. What languages is this in? Those... That's a weird way to write Russian. That's not the right... Uh, like, now it looks right. Why is it written so weird there? <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, every time I came here, I only had the continue option. I couldn't start a new game, I guess, unless I did this. Um, so it's one of those games that just wants you to play through once on a single file. All right, so let's learn about Adventure Plus. I guess this will be same thing, but different experience now that I have the golden key. The rifle was locked with a silver padlock, though, so that's different. Hmm. So yeah, I guess the logical thing to do here would be to be rude to everyone. <laughs> So that I'll see more dialogue. <laughs> You're gonna have to play as a terrible person. Okay, so paying more attention. Train noises. Train abruptly stops. Was our car hit by a train? Or did we hit a train? Or... I'm wondering what happened here. Wake up, Daddy. Okay. You're sleepwalking again. Uh, sorry, sweetie. Hey, do you smell smoke? Yes. Let's go investigate. So there's the mirror. You can be Sherlock. You got it, Watson. You're silly. <laughs> it's a mirror, Sherlock. It's so dusty, I can barely see your face. So I'm still wearing the starfish and Look at us, Dad. weird ear clip Ooh. thing. That's, like, enormous. Boom! What even is that thing? Let's go. <laughs> Don't dare anybody try to scan the game. <laughs> <laughs> the game sucks. <laughs> anyway, would you like to play in some vintage mode for the price of five film strips? Film strips? I don't have those. And I don't know what super vintage mode is yet. Okay, so What's that, Daddy? there's a. It looks like a frozen drop of oil. Huh. This is odd. There's Georgie. He's all stuck in his crate. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why is all your stuff thrown out that door, Daddy? Right, heard this before. Is that, that Mummy's locket? Uh huh. Now this, see, this was never exactly a clue. It's just a thing I can look at. I guess it shows me my wife's face. Mm hmm. Portrait, sure. Is that the same guy? It might be. So sure, let's at least finish the train sequence again. Sherlock. Watson? I think I can reach that button. Okay. I never understood mine, it says. So I can definitely hold... You know what? I still don't understand this. I guess I just have to wait for them both to light up and then press the... Okay. And there was nothing else to see here. Master Pinstripe's first appearance. I didn't notice him the first time through here. I was too focused on all this silliness. So I'll wait for that. Then what I want to do is flip, flip, flip. Sure, that'll do. Got it, got it, got it. Wait. How did this get here? Bo's notebook. Don't look at it, Daddy. It's just a silly drawing. Uh. Oh, <laughs> that kind of misfired. <laughs> All right then. All right, so he has the pinstripe. Whiskey or whatever it was. Um. And who might this be? This is Bo. Hello there, Bo. Do you like balloons? How about a shiny black one? We're fine. Oh, and Bo. I like your dress. All right, let's be rude. Leave us alone, creep. He has drunk particles coming out of him. Oh, your daddy is such a brute. <laughs> so he starts in right there if I do that. Wow. He's gone. Oh boy. All right, so wait, was there... No, there was just the sack to see here. Got it. Bo runs off. I go backward, eventually I get to the other side. Whoa, whoa, something happened out there. Hmm. Right, eventually... All the sacks are here, mine, she's... Mine, she's. Balloon. Doesn't do much. So he took that time to fill the entire train with sacks. That's... whoa. <laughs> okay, so I see that I have... Wait a minute. So I see that I have a golden key and one... One film strip? Yeah, I remember getting a secret film strip originally a long time ago. I forget where I got it. I need five for super vintage mode, apparently. Okay. Huh. Fascinating. Edgewood. Bird scarf. Smoke and whiskey. Yeah. Pinstripe whiskey. Okay, so... Princel's in there, I think. Hanging crate, that thing, all this stuff. Speed shrooms, nausea diarrhea, suicidal thoughts, plus one upgrade of player SS. Princel's balloon shop. Now, did that, did it say that the first time I was through here? That's like the shell of a sack, if that's a thing. 
Right, paw print. There weren't a whole lot of those. So interesting to always... It's always interesting to look at these from the... Um, after having been here once. Edgewood Cemetery. Sorry, what I was trying to say. Uh, in a story-driven game like this, everything looks so different the second time. Bunch of people and new grounds. De debab? What does that mean? More people's names. Swinging platform for no obvious reason. Huh. Okay. So that's what the gold key gets me. So Felix is up there. Mr. Dickey's in there. I need a slingshot to get there. That's a gas port. Help! Ted? Do I know you? Don't you recognize this sexy face, swine? It's me, Mr. Dickie. Just get out of here. I'm miserable. But I need help. Welcome to help. Now get. My girl was kidnapped. In stride. Uh huh. I think I might know where she is, Ted. The Hangley House. But I'm not sure how you're going to defend that silly body of yours without a weapon. Until you find one, I'm afraid I can't help you. Alright, let's start down this path. I wasn't crying. I was, uh, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so, he doesn't come with me if I'm... What, what are you staring at? If I'm rude to him. Is it me moles? I've got fresh, peeping moles on me crown. But they're genetic, I swear. So is this where the story... Does My mother always told me they were a gift from God. But I wanted to get them sliced off by Dr. Shrenwell, because I always knew Birdie was too beautiful for me. I always looked like a deformed clown all the way through primary school. Oh, well that's why he was insecure about being a clown later. So... These moles are Whoa. not a circus act! Can they ride a unicycle, fool? Can they? Can they walk a tightrope? No, no! Isn't your daughter kidnapped? And you're contemplating putting my moles in a damn circus act? I think you're projecting a bit. I said nothing of the sort. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm going to be playing a very different game here because Mr. Dickey is not coming along to rescue Miss Birdie. Apparently, unless there was something I had to do first. Don't have sack for that. I think I'd get it from Felix, maybe. Okay, cool. So it feels a little weird to be playing the same game again, but if it's going to be this different, yeah, I have to see what's up with all this. Behind the golden padlocks, things like that. Okay, cool. Uh, see you next time for Rude Guy playthrough.